EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Pittsburgh Invitational. It is one of the most difficult golf courses in the United States, Oakmont Country Club, outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hello again and welcome, Rich Slaughter, alongside Frank Navolo, who was a part of that dramatic U.S. Open in 1994 at Oakmont, ultimately won by Ernie Wells. Hello. Frank, when you think of Oakmont, All right. what comes I think to mind? <coughs> All right. I know a lot's changed over the last 20 or so years. Uh, a lot of the trees have been removed. But really, that wasn't the story of Oakmont. It's the slick greens, you know, how firm and fast they can be. The members there, for example, um, you know, they marvel at the fact that people think they're fast. They say, we put on these greens every put single on day, screen. and they're certainly no slower. But it's the bunkering as well. There's 210 bunkers. Stay on the green. All, play. all right. And um, it just has that history. When you step on Oakmont, you just know you are walking on not one of the great courses in, the, in North mm -hmm. America, but one of the great uh -huh. courses in golf. Nine nine yards. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for Birdie. Locked in on the read Birdie. and the speed. Oh wow, it breaks a lot. Level. Alright, so oh. came to the putt excited to make birdie. Now well, was a, settle for par. Had a hell of a break. A change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. Support. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Just sort of ho hum pars. Damn. Now at the par 5, 12, 667 yards. Frank, you've played golf around the world at the very highest level. I've heard you say you think this is one of the hardest par 5s on the planet. Why? Uh, the slope of the fairway, you don't get a flat lie anywhere along that. I shouldn't play with that, but. Slopes away from you. This, this is the only par five I've ever seen where the best players in the world would take a five. That is a fantastic long shot. There's no way he could hit that without a tail breeze. Surely that breeze had to help there. Eight. 246, 255. It's going to bounce and rotate. That's three wood. I'll play it down. Stay on the green. Wow, it always does that. Well, too bad, Frank. That one Jeez. rolled right off the green. That was my fault. It's so hot. He'll need to be strong with this. 13. Stay on the green. All right. That was my eagle. That shot right there from that lie in the rough to knock it that close. That's good. Jesus. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie. Come on. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, Shut pace. up. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on I'm not. Line. I'm not even doing good. Let's go down now to hole number 13. Has not been a banner day for our featured Eight, player, Frank, but it is only seven. the first round. You always got to try and get something out of your round, even if it's something to work on for tomorrow. Hit a draw in there. 
There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Get up. Oh. So off the tee here at the par three, not his best stuff, but still a chance to make the three. Yeah, that was a poor miss off the tee. Let's see if he can redeem himself. Ah, caca. Pretty good shot right there. Settles in over the putt. Down three inches. One, that's about right. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hello. What up? <coughs> you son of a bitch. Oh my god. Frank, let's hope he doesn't make double bogey now. That's the saddest coming out in your rich. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Up three inches. Oh what goodness, is going it? on? <coughs> Christ almighty. Going to have to regroup now after that double bogey. Blah, 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 blah. Alongside Frank you play Paolo, good, but when you stream your stuff, you can't do good. Club. Frank, it's only 358 yards. How good is the scoring opportunity here? This is certainly one of the best chances on the on the back nine here for Birdie. That's for sure, Rich. Just a long iron uh, off the tee there, threaded in between bunkers that are drawn both sides. Yes, they're, they're cheering for me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so you much. On Oakmont standards is a relatively gentle green. Sixty-seven. Put a little backspin on it. 72 yards, 72 yards, so it's hard, 72 yards, and I have to go there twice. That's the... Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Great shot out of the rough. He avoided <laughs> all the troubles just to get that on the green. That was not an easy shot. He'll settle. Oh, my God. Look at that break. All right. So he's weighing over. It's like over here. You oh, he fooled a little bit on that one. Bastard. God. So they'll tap in. The screens are vicious. They have a lot of break. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Every time I swing this, I'm going to have a stroke. Makes me want to play real golf and get a real birdie. Powerball. Cheapy chop. Chow. I wish I had a 319 yard carry. Stay inbound. Oh my god. Move that one out there, but he is not going to like the line. Are you serious? That moved down in right. the rough. Frank, this ball's in the rough. Anything right. you change in your technique when a ball's sitting down a little bit? Lower it down um, a little bit. You put the ball back a little bit further 60. on your stance because you're going to get a bit of grass between the ball and the club face. You have to allow for that. And couple keep bucks. that club moving. Um, 104. That grass is going to be is that that grass is going to create uh, a certain amount of resistance. Right level, good shot, Jim. See it? Look at him. Yeah. Right on Two inches. These putts keep Two inches the down. Together. One, two. Go down. See where the breaking line. Get that level, so it starts to break right. Boom, right there. Dude, too I fucked try, up. Just didn't I messed break, up bad. Oh, oh my god. Be a problem, you think, cleaning up here. Oh, don't let what this am I doing? Away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Dude, I cannot get a bird for the life of me. Bird. Has his par. Dude. 
Might even Real make the cut. For today. Not a great performance. Not on the oh my god. That leaderboard. I couldn't even. Yeah, the people on the top of this Ricky leaderboard Fowler. are there for a reason. They hit more fairways, more greens. It sounds easy, and I know this is a difficult course, but that's the way it's going to have to be played. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Alright, now you guys can hear me. Okay. I did really bad on that. I had my headset plugged into my troller. Echo, echo. EA so I at least get one thing. The PGA Tour proudly Sergio Garcia. The season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today it's live second round coverage of the Pittsburgh Invitational. Oh, it's fine. I wish I could have a 298 carry. Frank, the 300 in golf. Really is the great equalizer, isn't it? Yeah, there's no sport like it. I can't imagine going to Wimbledon and playing, you know, sort of uh, Djokovic or Federer or, you know, playing NFL with Peyton Manning. But, you know, the, the, the beauty of golf, we can go out in a golf course. We decide you know, what our handicaps are on the first tee. We decide who's going to get strokes, and then off you go and play. And you play on a level playing field. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. On the green. And a chance for birdie here on the first hole. It's the beautiful part of golf. Brand new day, new hole. Remember, he made a bogey here yesterday. This time for birdie. Pushed it. Well, that hurts. Bogey here yesterday. Chance to. <coughs> Good work right there. He'll settle for par. God. Relatively short par. I suck. Second hole, Frank. What's the I get my the fanny tier? handed to me when I play online. It certainly isn't. Um, you need a decent yardage in for your second shot, so you don't really want to hit it past those last of the six bunkers on that right side. But, at least a shot of a 100, 110 yards. There's another tee box a little further up where they can make it like drivable at 265 yards. But for such a short hole, this is sort of a fearsome one. You always Free feel eagle. like you're making a mistake when you're putting the ball on the tee. Ooh, that. Who do you try up next? Jesus. Oh, can't cut. Really? Are you serious? Even pa. Come on. Wow. Good pa. Moving on to the third hole now. Again, it's a par four of 428 yards, but you can see a All right. distinctive bunkering on the left, making this, Frank, one of the most famous holes in golf. It is. The, the church pews that adorn the left side, they're no fun to be in, that's for sure, because somehow, invariably, you always seem to get behind one of those grass strips behind, and all you're left to do is punch out. Uh, not just that, too. The, the amount of bunker, the bunkers on that right side really narrowed that down. Now, this tee shot... <coughs> 
and then you've got to be ready for that uphill second shot. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Frank, this one's going too far oh. left, it looks like. It was fine there for a little while, but Come it keeps on. going left, it's doomed. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but the short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. And from the rough, he manages to not only make the green, but get within easy striking distance of the hole. Made it. I stink. I gotta. Get, I haven't even got a birdie yet. Take advantage of in this whole stream. When they present themselves, is this one of those moments here? The par five, fourth hole at 609 yards. It'll certainly be one of the holes that determine the champion, uh, because the difference between making four and six on this hole is extremely slim. Very, very stringent tee shot. You're heading towards those church pews and trying to cut the ball away from it. It's easy to see why Jack Nicholas, who faded the ball, and Ben Hogan won around here. See what it does naturally. Stay on. Fuck. And that one lands in the first cut, Frank. Interesting choice coming out here. There. Yeah, It'll yeah, yeah. To see how he reads this lie. Well, certainly playable. For Six here. yards. Ball is in the first cut. Not too bad. Oh! <laughs> Come on! Oh, that was a good one. Steady here over the putt. Finally. You get the sense now with that birdie that our young star so explosive what is, is it? The himself up for a big weekend run. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Clap, 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 so clap, crucial, clap, 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 Yeah, when you're playing well and you're swinging well, you're going to have more good shots Ooh. than normal. But to top that off, if you can choose more good clubs than you normally would, then you will play better. That's a hard shot. 93 yards. So, down nice. So... Seems to like it. Looks like it's Stay the on the green. Why? Why when you hit it down, it, it doesn't? It was almost like that's what he wanted to do. But why would you want it why? to run over the back? He'll need to be strong with this. Fuck you. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. Frank, what's the pros take on the first par three here at Oakmont, the sixth, at just under 200 yards? Oh, it's a real beauty. Uh, very narrow in the front. You can see how it pinches in so close. It starts to widen up, but even to try and carry that bunker on the right side, um, there's very few players in the world that could hit it that high and manage to stop the Get ball. in. Once again, you're trying to thread it through that avenue at the front of this green. It's a tough bar for it. Don't want to miss it right here. No. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Uh, line it up. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. How? I don't even know how. He'll take par and move on. Recording your progress is good. So that'll but... do it from historic Oakmont Country Club in uh, Western Pennsylvania. Frank, 
Oakmont yet again has stood the test of time. It has. It, uh, I don't it think proves I agree. it's at the top of the tree with regard to testing every department of a player's game in whatever era they play. So for all of yeah. us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalos. Next time. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Pittsburgh Invitational. Hello again, and welcome, Rich Lerner, alongside my friend and colleague Frank Navala. We are back in the state of Pennsylvania, All right. getting set to kick off the two. round here at one of the great golf courses in the world, Oakmont <laughs> Country Club. Frank, you're very wow. familiar 10 with ten miles an hour. This is right in the mix down the stretch of the 1994 U.S. Open right here at Oakmont. And Rich, it's so good just to be back here. You know, there's so much history uh, in Oakmont. It's been a host to so many prestigious tournaments in our sports, such as the U.S. Amateur, the U.S. Open, the Women's U.S. Open, and the PGA Championship. It's just one of the true gems on the golf landscape. Mm. Oh, that's perfect. That is a huge opening tee shot. Got to be careful here. Downhill, he's got to time it good because your weight's a little bit more on your front foot. Whoa! Bound, it looks like. What the Maybe happened? The Why? Up and down. Playing this par four. Still Dude, you're just going back and forth with the stick. Shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Pisses me off. Okay. Disappointing from that kind of a spot when you come up short. Yeah, you're looking your chops over that one. Shot you think you could hit directly at the flag uh, now? Test for the short game. Jeez. <clears throat> Look at it go. Wow, they're just fast. They're really fast, the greens. The ball's still rolling. Oh, my God. It just rolled off the green. Certainly had enough power. Just didn't have any touch. Dude. Frank, this ball's in the rough. You like to hinge just a little bit quicker on the takeaway when the ball is down like this? No, when it's down, you've just got to make sure that you wind up almost like you're hitting a tee shot. Uh, this is not one to be dallied with. Uh, you've got to hit it powerfully, and you really have to focus on that club getting through the grass, past the ball, and out the other side. How does that stay out? Oh, Are no you idea. kidding me? Ball's round. Ball's meant to go in. So they'll tap in. 